Hello there, doll lovers. Today's Valentine's Day. I hope you guys got what you wanted, because I did. Chic and Chambray, Barbie Fashionista number 82, has been on my list because I don't have any dolls with flocked hair. And when I unboxed her, I was so happy to find out that she did not have one of those stupid plastic pegs pinning her head to the box. There were just three little plastic straps, one holding her arm, her torso, and her feet. So it was just easy snipping. She has a really cute face, a happy smile. She's got this little, like, smudge on her cheek. I don't know if that's something I can wipe away or, or if it's just kind of like part of her manufacturing. But either way, at least she doesn't have, you know, bad makeup and um, derpy face. I did notice that around this eye, there's a slight seam. It's like a circle. And it's not really showing up on camera. It's just so faint. But I can see it in person. Like there's this, this circle that just goes around. It's kind of odd because it's it, it just, I don't know, it catches my eye. Either way, she's perfect still. I don't care. She'll probably get rebodied later. <laughs> so, Miss Chic and Chambray has a cute pink necklace, which looks very, you know, festive for the season, and also matching little strappy heels. Her shorts are that white pleather uh, material, which if you've bought any of the new uh, fashion packs, there's a shirt that's gray with white sleeves that feels exactly like this material so that would be probably a good matchup for her and I love the little billowy ruffle sleeves here you don't get that too much with Barbie fashion it's either just you know it's just straight sleeves so anyway uh, this is my Valentine's Day gift and I thought I would just do a quick little review on her I mean there's there's nothing amazing with a fashionista. They have five points of articulation and whatnot. But it's usually uh, their face, hair, uh, clothing that really uh, is their selling point. Although we would like for them to all just come with more accessories and, you know, heck, bendable knees. I could deal with the arms in a fixed position, but not, not the legs. This just kills me right here. You can't, you can't set a doll at the table, and, ha and have, you know, a spectacular little Valentine's Day evening with Ken when her legs are sticking straight out. All right, so uh, happy Valentine's Day. Keep collecting. 